I had fostered dogs for many years and I always loved walking them through the King William neighborhood and across the footbridge on Johnson Street. My name is Wendy Black. I am with the Footbridge Foundation. We have about 450 plus cats and dogs come through Footbridge Foundation each year to find homes. And then we do spay neuter surgery on 600 animals total a year. The strays come into our office here where we are today and we line up appointments and then they're seen by our veterinary staff and then we determine if they need surgery we do photographs here, we write bios for the animals, we give them their vaccines, we microchip them and do diagnostic testing and then they're available for adoption. So animals come in and they are given core vaccines. They are tested for FIV and leukemia and heartworm if they're a cat and then tested for heartworm if they're a dog. We deworm, we give flea and heartworm prevention and then we microchip them. So the way that we handle the animals here, uh, we have a cat room behind me where we can have cats that are ready for surgery or who might be sick um, or might be here just for the day for a meet and greet. And then we have a bathroom that we use for a quarantine room. We have another bathroom that we use for our ferals that come in for surgery. And then we have a clinic that also has kennels and that's where other animals can be kept. We have a number of dog kennels here where we're sitting today, and that's where dogs stay when they're here, just for vetting, meet and greets, photos, whatever. Then all the animals are kept permanently in foster homes. We have over 80 animals in foster care right now. And then we also have a pet smart at Bandera Point, so we have a lot of cats who are kept there. Hi, my name is Kennessy. Um, I'm a foster here at Footbridge Foundation. Uh, I got involved with them a few years ago when I adopted my own dog from them, Doug. And since then, uh, we have had, ooh, maybe 15 fosters through Footbridge, uh, quite a few. So my recent fosters, I have two at the moment. One's called Monty, he's a little eight week old puppy. Uh, my neighbor right next to me was walking his dogs on the river walk and found Monty in the river. Uh, he was going underwater, my neighbor jumped in, saved him, uh, brought him to my house, I brought him to Wendy and he's now hanging out waiting for a good home. So. Um, could have been a very different situation if my neighbor hadn't saved him, um, but now he gets to hang out and live the good life. Uh, Champ, who's the German Shepherd that I have, he was injured on the street. Uh, it took us about three weeks to catch him, uh, but when we finally did, he is a huge love bug and he is now up for adoption with Footbridge as well. My name's Lauren Walcher and I've been with Footbridge as a foster for about a year and then I came on as a seasonal employee um, the beginning of the month to help with the events that we have through the end of the year. So why I like work working for Footbridge is I was actually taking in street dogs on my own. Um, I had taken in about eight dogs in one year. I just see roaming dogs without collars on the street and I would pull over and kind of take them in and, and rehome them. So it was getting really expensive. <laughs> so I decided to partner with Footbridge because they, they help cover all the costs needed to take care of the dogs and then also vetting owners and making sure that they get into a good home. My name is Dr. Stephanie Barker. I am one of the veterinarians that uh, assist the Footbridge Foundation with spay and neuter surgeries for animals that are uh, either going to other rescue groups um, or being adopted here locally. Uh, we just basically want to make sure we, we sterilize them so that they're not going to be able to reproduce as we have a huge um, overpopulation of pets in this area and pretty much all over Texas. Um, we also do preventive medicine here, making sure that we uh, keep animals up to date on vaccinations um, and then things like uh, heartworm testing, other other uh, aspects of preventive health. I believe we're gonna um, do primarily cats today. Um, we're gonna be, the, the procedure for the females, we, we refer to it as a spay procedure. 
and, and it's more or less like a hysterectomy um, in, in human beings. Um, and in males, uh, the term is a neuter, and, and it is a removal of their, their, their testicles, essentially. So but that's, that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, some animals, uh, if they're feral animals, meaning they really don't have a designated owner, um, we will mark them so that hopefully we're not gonna recapture them again, um, and basically just release them back to their environments. One day it struck me that the bridge itself was becoming symbolic. Around the time that the dogs got the hang of their little claws touching the metal surface of the bridge, they also forgot their desperate paths and became ready to move into their happy futures. <laughs>